September 11, a day to remember. America is a great country in which to live. In America, all children get an education. There are opportunities to get higher education in vocational schools and colleges. There are lots of opportunities to work in a variety of jobs available in America. This country has large chain stores and shopping malls filled with food, clothing, toys, and more. In America, everyone can freely worship. There are many churches to choose from. Most people in other countries admire America. Some try to be like America and even call themselves westernized. Other groups of people hate America. One particular group known as Al-Qaeda hates America. Their hatred is so great that they decided to do something very terrible to America. On September 11, 2001, 19 men from the Al-Qaeda organization each bought tickets and boarded four different planes. Five from the group were on three planes and four were on a fourth plane. Each group included one trained pilot. The planes took off from airports headed for different destinations. However, while the airplanes were in flight, the groups of Al-Qaeda members carried out their plan. They forced their way into the areas where the pilots and co-pilots were flying the planes, known as the cockpits. They changed the courses of the planes. Two of the planes began to fly toward New York City, New York. Their destinations were the two largest buildings in New York, known as the World Trade Center buildings, or Twin Towers. The two towers were also known as the North and South Towers. One of the planes crashed into the side of the North Tower. Seventeen minutes later, the second plane crashed into the South Tower. Both of these tall buildings collapsed a short time later. The third plane headed for Arlington, Virginia and crashed into a building called the Pentagon, which is the headquarters of the U.S. Department of Defense. The fourth plane made its way toward Washington, D.C. This plane's destination was the White House, which is the home to the President of the United States. However, some of the American passengers on this plane had gotten calls on their cell phones from family and friends telling them about what had already happened with the other planes. They decided that the plane they were on would not be used to crash into another building. Some of these brave passengers decided to try to get into the cockpit and gain back control of the plane. The brave passengers were able to stop the plan of Al-Qaeda on board. They were not able to land the plane safely. The plane went down in an empty field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Among the other brave heroes of the September 11 attacks were the approximately 400 rescue workers. Most of these workers were firemen and policemen. These heroes risked their own lives to help save others. After the events of September 11, Americans from all over the country began a huge effort of supporting the people who were injured and the family members of those killed. Americans prayed for them, volunteered to help them, and donated money and supplies to them. Today, the people in America still remember the terrible tragedy that took place on September 11, 2001. Americans also remember good things that took place, such as the demonstrations of heroism and bravery. You can get a copy of September 11, A Day to Remember Coloring Book. The link will be below. This book summarizes the things that we saw in the PowerPoint presentation. Through coloring pages and activities, you'll be able to remember the events of September 11th and also the brave heroes who helped during this tragic event in America's history.